Hey y'all, I have 16 minutes to do a quick collective reading. I am going to do a Monology Oracle card pull, though, because it is a new moon that we're out there under. So that's why we're able to see the planetary action out there. Um, it is like a little thumbnail, like crescent right now, but it was like officially a couple days ago, a new moon. So. That's likely why I was being called to do this reading. So, for Moonology, please, Spirit, what do we have here? I've already cleansed and meditated on the cards as well. There's some Palo Santo. Oh dear, the card was flying. Where did it go? It was in my lap. Now, can I read it? The energy is gaining momentum. Waxing moon. Well, that's correct. So we just are, uh, had ex uh, experienced this new moon. And now, um, <clears throat> you know, if you set your intentions and things like that, it should be gaining momentum. And then, you know, the light is going to start to appear, um, you know, and illuminate the things that you uh, need in order to accomplish um, those goals and visions for yourself. So I'll just set this over here. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see it quite. Um, the bottom, meditate and contemplate. Okay, yes. And I am going to use my Grateful Dead Tarot deck today, which is a very nice deck. Um, comes with a really um, nicely illustrated book and some books that come with the decks are quite um I almost wanted to say remedial but you know just very basic and but this is more like in depth and uh, but you can just tell there's a lot of thought and it's more like a curated um book um <clears throat> that I have not read yeah, I've kind of, I'm an intuitive reader, so take that as you will with any of these messages. So, and it's been a while since I've done a reading, so you may be surprised as me to be here <laughs> at this moment, you know, because I've been busy with other things with my business. Anyway, uh, Spirit, what do we have for this collective? Gratefully yours. So, Den Company Tour Heads, I hope you're doing well out there. Phoenix, blast off, right? Let's let's see what we got. Ooh, six of skulls. Moving on in the name of. Do what they told you. You didn't want to do what they told you. You were like, no, actually, I'm going the opposite direction. What do you think about that? Oh, man, we are coming out strong. And isn't that kind of what some of these tour heads are like? Yeah. So I'm like... <laughs> Take this job and, well, not exactly, but four of schools, maybe just take a little hiatus for a while. Um, you know, maybe, you know, look and see. Have you got any of those airline points that you can use? Do you know what I'm saying? Give yourself a weekend. Give yourself a moment where your getaway doesn't have to feel like so isolating um, from maybe your normal life, but just, you know, be more intermittent with it, right? So that you can still enjoy things that kind of blossom while you're here resting and waiting in this four. So this is four of skulls on this deck, but, um, it's a four of swords. So four of swords is all about rest. Um, and in this card is actually showing rejuvenation. So hopefully in the companion book, um, you know, it talks about that, like they go in depth, but again, I'm an intuitive reader. So if anything that I say kind of comes out and matches what's in the book, that just happens to be, uh, by an intuitive coincidence, I'll say, um, <laughs> Or else, you know, maybe the messages on the card are just illustrated and properly communicated so that, you know, uh, anyone can enjoy uh, their their pulls for themselves. And it is a collective message, so if it doesn't resonate, don't try and make it fit. Um, ten, 
is is coming up here in, in a completion. So uh, spirit we have now. Wow, the swords are really uh, taking over these skulls here. Uh, so dead and company, you're front and center. I love it. Uh, Terrapin of skulls. This is the ace of truth. This is uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, air signs, <clears throat> you know, holding that in high honor, in high regard, and spirits coming through here and saying that it's being gifted to you in a way um, because you understand how to wield it. Um, you know, you understand how to gift time to yourself and you understand how to separate yourself, uh, you know, like the wheat from the chaff here but like in a way that sets you apart where everyone can see your sale, you know? And it's not necessarily that you're hurting anyone else over here because like here's a rose here, like as a memory, you know what I mean? It just means that you're not always meant to be in the same place all the time. And that's just, that's the same as, you know, as the, as our day turns into night, you know, the time will change. So the time for truth is coming into the present is kind of what this um, terrapin is here. And the thing with the terrapin too is that, <clears throat> you know, this is symbolic in, um, you know, a lot of the Grateful Dead uh, songs and things. However, um, the terrapin itself, you know, providing that kind of protection and armor um, because you are recognized by the spirit as knowing what to do again with this truth okay this is just one of those readings just coming right through so um you know this 16 minutes here that i have on the horn <laughs> will we even need it what's in this uh next kind of level here for an outcome please i don't know exactly how i think we're doing five all right thank you so Three of Roses, Three of Cups. So um, definitely for those of you touring, um, this is a celebratory time. And also, you know, a celebration of people that you've met, uh, you know, along the way. Maybe, of course, that you didn't ever think that you would. Um, and I did mention Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. So um, you know, there's kind of like some trifectas here. Like we're not always in little duos. Sometimes we're in groups, right? And that's part of the gathering of like getting together with your friends for tour or, you know, maybe it's your favorite golf outing that's coming up. Um, you know, maybe as you're going on an annual shopping trip with your girlfriends, you know, maybe, you, or maybe you always go and get your nails done this certain weekend or whatever, you know, before an event, um, you know, taking time to, um, commemorate those traditions. That's what, you know, keeps us going and keeps, gives us hope for the new, right? Um, and again, um, and I do have this green kind of, I can't remember this exact stone. It's kind of like a jade-like malachite stone, but um, it was giving me the money vibes too. So if you're out there selling, you know, especially vending on tour, <laughs> make lots of money, right? Um, so remember that you're gathering as well to, to prosper, right? Some of you. So, um, and that Libra Gemini Aquarius is coming through strong. And especially this is all like been air signs except through um, this three of roses, this three of cups. So spirit, what else do we have for this collective? Gratefully on this now Monday officially. The 22nd, 22 de Mayo. So, oh wow, here we go. The Magician Musician. Yeah. I was going to say something, but I just wanted that feeling of calm and peacefulness from the card to kind of come across. And I feel like it is, especially in the joyfulness here. And here we have the three again, the, these three characters. Okay. So, <clears throat> you know, every rose cannot last forever. We all know that, you know, um, just like uh, people have been posting recently, their peonies are coming up. That's one of those spring flowers that pop early and then, you know, they bloom and then that's it. They're gone, right? Um, 
you know, but we still have the memory of what we experienced together, even though that bloom may have only lasted for a short time, you know, but it was still, you know, gave us the warm and fuzzies, right? <laughs> so I think that's the kind of, and definitely like looking out for yourself, okay, and, and making sure that, you know, you're not, you know, say succumbing to someone else's, um, you know, whims when here you yourself have all the opportunity. Okay. Is what spirit's saying. Because when you're, <laughs> okay, my dryer just stopped. So in here with this, my lantern's illuminated and I have my candle, my new candle that I bought at Walgreens on sale, FYI. Um, and you're here illuminated by the sun and the bolt. So it's just like that extra jolt saying, you know, we're all gifted our own little like things, um, you know, that make us unique and special. And sometimes we share in something that lasts forever. Right. Okay. That whole built to last thing. Right, folks. Okay. Meet you on the golden road. Okay. So, um, also musician, uh, well, this card is, uh, also representative of Mercury. So, um, you might want to check your Mercury placement. Uh, Mercury is, uh, related to communication also, which is also your throat chakra, which I personally have, um, worked on myself. Um, and that would also be related to this terrapin of skulls which, uh, you know, the, the swords are all about communication. So if you're in the middle of communicating something, um, right now, it may be a good time. And especially as there's opportunity here to gather and celebrate, um, cause that doesn't everybody like some good news, you know what I mean? Like while we're celebrating, um, even, <laughs> Or what is it, you know, a spoonful of sugar makes the medicine go down, right? So, <clears throat> you know, it doesn't, it doesn't have to be always so somber feeling um, as the Four of Swords sometimes can be. Um, but just remember, Spirit, I think, is saying now um, to keep the joy, joy within it. Yeah, um, even here with this Knight of Cups on the bottom of the deck. Um, you know, there's some whimsy about it. Okay. Um, and the eight of pentacles. Yeah. Cause you know, coming out of, you know, that winter time, now it's time to kind of cut loose, you know, a little bit. Right. And wow. <laughs> Talk about walking through or knocking on the golden door to that golden road. Okay. So for those of you ready to receive, you're there, mini Empress energy, and then right after that, you have the mother vibes, okay? So remember what binds us together, right? As we go out there, you know, don't get too caught up in, you know, the either or because we all know um, eventually that, you know, there's there's more gray here, right? You know, even though there are decisions to be made. And sometimes that might mean like, well, hey, maybe I'm couch touring, you know, this year, or maybe I am like going to some local festival, you know, maybe that I haven't even been to yet, you know what I mean? Versus some, you know, big road trip or something. Um, and, you know, that is all good and well too with different parts of our life, um, in general. And I'm going to go ahead and pull a couple more immunology just so it's because I have a couple more minutes here on the clock. So spirit, if we can close out and help redirect any misdirection that may have come out of my babble mouth, right? <clears throat> so what do we, <laughs> what do we have here? A win-win outcome is forecast full moon in Libra. And who was I mentioning here with the sword of truth? Air, uh, the air signs, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. So um, again, the balance here, the fairness, the justice, justice being drawn. Um, that may be very significant here. Um, and also I would say maybe about when the moon is at half 
um, right? Because then you're going to be able to see, you know, the the illumination. Like, right, when, when justice is blind, right, the scales are a little bit tipped. But then when the blindfold comes off, right, and then we can see maybe, you know, what, what the scales actually look like. Um, and, you know, remember that, like, the way we see things is not always the same, right? Like, you know, somebody else's life looks a little bit different than yours and that's okay. But then that means that, you know, maybe you might have to, um, you know, I hate to say the word judge, but we all do it in a way. Um, but you know, judge their life, you know, according to their own standards, you know, um, not necessarily the road that you've been given. Anyway, adjustments are required. Yeah. So, and this says by the third quarter moon, but this, uh, definitely looks like that half that I was talking about. So definitely keep that in mind. Um, you know, and that might be something just as, well, I'm not sure what my new intention was. Well, maybe now you can set one right to like, I don't know, uh, sweep your floor every day, I guess. And, <laughs> you know, two weeks from now say, well, hey, where am I at with that? Um, you know, and then into the new moon cycle. So adjustments may be required. You might have to, you know, get up 10 minutes earlier in order to achieve that or something. Anyway, um, going around the horn here, running out of time. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, drop a comment if this resonates and uh, manifest wisely.